Richard Simmons. Oh my God. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah! Hi. You look phenomenal, sir. Oh, thanks. Let me see if my picture's here. Let me see. No, not there. Wait. No, not here. Uh. Hi. You look amazing. Hi, I'm Lisa. Nice to see you. Oh, that's a nice hug. How are you doing? Good. You look fantastic. Oh, wow. Let me, I was looking for my picture. Let me see now. My picture's not here. Well, that's not my picture. <laughs> you don't want to be in that picture. In other words, there's no photo of me. Nowhere. Well, it has been a long time since your last appearance. Well, kind of hurts, but... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do oh, yeah. this show. Right? Oh, Mr. Simmons, please. Richard! I I'm looking for my photo! I Maybe in one of the green rooms? Look at this pretty one of Robin. It is nice. Holy crap! How the hell did you do? Jesus Christ. I've never seen you so skinny. <laughs> let me see you. I've never seen you so skinny. Oh, let me see. You look really good. You look, you, I, I, read, I read it in the notes. I said just a were, minute. Oh. You're 135 Just pounds. a minute. Let me just hug you for a second. <laughs> two hearts. Two hearts that beat as one. You have any good pictures of the family? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Good oh, to see you, Richard. Wow. You look great. You have a beautiful body and a lovely tuchus. Look at your tuchus. Thanks. Squats. Yes. The squats do it, doesn't it? Yeah. Hi. How's it going? How are yeah, you? Sit down for Good. a second. Sit down. Sit where? Uh, in the right green room. Right in here. Me? Oh. We need you to well, sign was, a couple of relations. I was just going to look for my photos again. Let me see. Sounds like who's judging because this is going to be mm. Well, that's not me. Anything different on your I'm not in this group Hi. Hi, how you doing? What, what nice is this? This is so cute, this little outfit. You like that? Well, Hi, Richard. Hi. How you doing? How are you? How you been? Good Hi. to see you. Oh. Oh. This is incredible. Oh. oh. Thank you. How you doing? Good. Good? Really good. How What's new? Let's do it. I know, we're still here. Nothing new. It's a Howard Stern show. It's the Howard Stern Show! Hello! Can I talk to Howard? No. There's B. He can't hear this. He can't hear Everybody this? Everybody do the act act. They can't, he can't hear me no. at all? Sorry. Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Papa, can you? Papa, can you hear me? Howard, can you hear me? Now you're talking town. He can't. Good job, no, Craig. Huh? Christopher. <laughs> uh, do you think we should call the health department? Yes. I mean... This does not look good. Look at this. It needs to be dusted. Well, you need to you need to just hose this area off. There's a lot of stuff here. That's right. I'm sexy and I know it. Hi. Hi. What do you do here? I am Scott's intern. Oh, are you? Is it fun? It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice I'm to very, see you. I'm very, very well, thank you. What do you do here? I am Howard's executive producer for the TV channel. You're not! That's what we're shooting Wow! For. The executive producer. That is, isn't that amazing? And what do you do? I'm, a, I'm an intern for Howard Stern. Take are you excited? Time. He's getting a little nervous. Let's okay, when you got the job, what was, did you, did you tell your family? Yeah, yeah, I told oh, what, my so, family. So what did you, how did you break it to them? It's going to be the greatest. Um, I just, I called them up and I said, I'm interning for Howard Stern. They said, we're proud of you. Good job. Oh, and how long have you been here? About two weeks. You like it? Yeah, it's great. And they're good to you? Everyone's really nice. Do they Do they treat you to lunch and stuff like that? Uh, are they, you interrogating my interns? <laughs> no, I was just, I asked him how yeah. he broke it to his family. What's that? I need to get him to sign it. I need to sign it. Mama, no. Mama, mama, no. Mama, I don't want to go to the prom. Carrie, go to your room. You're not going to the prom. <laughs> Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> did you miss me? I did. How long has it been? Well, we've been on the air for six years, and I know you've been here once. You came in the first year, but I think you were here once after that, so I'm going to say it's probably been about three to four years. Yeah. 
Norman Bates. I love that name. I just you have to just initial the front right there. Just what? Well, so that both sides are signed. <laughs> could I get a glass of water? I could have a whole water. How's that? Here, take this. Well, here's your pen. Are you the only one that like dresses like this? Well, when we go in and give the news to Howard, we he makes us wear these blazers. These are Howard 100 news blazers. I see. You like these? Uh, you know what? It's a it's a classy look. It's a look, right? It's a good color. Okay. You know, we're all look. It, oh. We're pretty good here. Mm-hmm. Looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Howard makes us wear them. Richard? Does he does he make you wear a tie too? There's Robin. Hi Robin! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> she can't hear you. Doesn't bother me with that. The you can't right now? Can I say something? You can't talk to them. Why? We're in a different studio. They're in there. Yeah. Well, you can't hook me up so I can just say, Hi, Howard. He wouldn't do it. You can do it from my office in a minute, but come on. No, really? I'll show you some pictures. He can do it from game. Okay. Hello. How are you? What is your name? Rob Martin. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Gary, here's your pen. Executive producer. Hello, I'm the executive producer. Why don't I take a break and then we'll get to Richard Simmons. Oh my God, it's like we'll a talk to him. He is here. Look at all the people. We'll sit, we'll talk, we'll find out what the hell's going on with him. Yeah, Richard's here, Howard. I, all that's what I just said. Surgeon? I'm going to take a little all break. Here, here, I'll, I'll start the Why break right here. I'm going to do a little commercial. What, do you, what am I talking about, Fred? Oh, go back to Steven Singer. What do you mean? Are you eating? Am I interrupting? Yeah, you just caught me oh, by I'm surprise. so sorry. I, 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 Howard, it's me. Oh boy. Oh, hey, Richard. <laughs> Richard, I love your outfit. Hi, Robin. It's me. Good morning. Richard, by the way, that outfit you're wearing is fabulous because I, seriously, I was going to talk to you about that. I always see you in short shorts and, and a tank top, and you've changed. You've lost weight. You've gotten thinner. He happens to look good. And the green and orange match perfectly. Yeah, what this a is color item combination. Number 1179 from QVC. <laughs> it comes in extra small to 4XL. And right now, your payment of two payments of nineteen ninety nine. Is that true that the, you're selling that outfit on QVC? I sell these, yeah. You do? All right. I'll is listen. it on FlexPay? <laughs> it's on, no, Easy Pay, Robin. Easy Pay. <laughs> easy Pay. Why can't I go in the studio now? Because I'll, break. I'll do it. What, what kind of break? Richard, break. Richard, let and me. now, we're like the play some of our very favorite commercials on the Howard Stern Show. And, and Richard, I'll do a commercial break, then I'll give you a proper introduction. Okay, I, I don't need it. I just can't wait to hug you. Well, I can't <laughs> wait to interview you and find out what you've been doing. Okay. All right. And now, some commercials from the Howard Stern Show on Sirius. <laughs> and by the way, keep your hands off Lisa G. <laughs> She's not for you. Hey, Howard, he walked in and he goes, ooh, who are you? You have a skinny body and a nice tuckus. Introduce Richard to Lisa, see if we can't make... She's yeah. a very lovely lady. Introduce Richard to Lisa and see if we can't get something going between She's those two. She's not Lisa. Richard? And now some commercials on the Howard Stern Show with Robin on Sirius FM. Richard. FM. During, <laughs> Richard. What? During the commercial, if you're nice to Lisa, maybe you'll get a date. Mm. Go ahead. No, Go. I think there's a lot of guys interested in Lisa. Well, there are, but you could get her. Do you have a boyfriend, Lisa? No. Come on. Were you ever married? No. No. But we can work out together. Okay. Well, go on and date. some commercials. All right. Okay. Stern we'll find out serious. what's going on. That's right. Thank you, Richard. Now, what was I talking about, Fred? Steven, Steven Singer. Steven Singer. I, I don't know why he's not going after Lisa G. I don't understand. I didn't think he wanted to go after right. her on camera. He's promoting this bill that they're trying to push through Congress, the Fit Kids bill. He was pushing it when he was here last time in 2008, so it doesn't seem to be uh, picking up much traction. He was, had to issue a statement after he uh, appeared on Dancing with Stars because he was training Chaz and he looked really gaunt, so they, he had to say that he was healthy. Right. Uh, he works out every day. He doesn't sh like shows like The Biggest Loser and Celebrity Fit Club because they, you know, they kind of just glorify uh, right. quick weight loss. Jack Lane, right. Big Jack Lane fan. Next page. He's had four hair transplants, 3,500 hair follicles, which I understand is painful. That's it. For me. Okay, good. I got it. He's sitting very close to Gary right now, holding on to his arm in his office. <laughs> Everything good? Yes. You really look fucking great, Richard. I, it's so great I have to curse when I say it. I'll be 64 this year. Really? I'm a little excited, guys. Huh? 
Yeah, you're excited. I'm excited. Can you call back after Richard? Right now, we got Richard. Did you meet Richard and Sal? How are you? We absolutely adore you. How are you? Great to Great to see you. Great to see you. This is what we do. Uh, prank calls. We make prank calls. calls. Oh, can we just call parodies? Oh. Would you like to sing something? You know, you know what? I think we should call some people today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. would definitely be up yeah, for we'll that. Yeah, make some prank calls. Remember that one thing, the prank call I made like years ago, and he still plays. Where I call this man and I said, I'm your daughter. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, did we, that. Did that. we did that. No, you didn't. Yes, yeah, we, we did. do. Yeah. Let's do something today. I'm so excited. We did you that did from your one? audio. But do you know, a lot of people still email me about that one thing. Yeah, you, I'm your daughter. Yeah. I don't have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, hear the one when you, when you called for Gary? We called somebody by the name of Gary because you kept calling for Gary. You were yelling Gary, for Gary one day here. Gary. And we called somebody named Gary and it was a brilliant phone call. We just did that okay. one recently. Well, can we do something today? Yeah. Sure. How, do I, get, how do I get permission? Oh, no, we'll, we'll take care of it. Just yeah. talk to Gary. Go right. after, uh, Gary? Yes. Can we do a prank call on the air? On the air? I don't know. Not on the air, but you should come back and do one with them afterwards. They, they call people. You call like a pizza place. You know what, Richard? Well, what, what, I think today... Because they have to be edited. At 9 o'clock, there's a tradio. Yeah, we, we can call it a swap shop. We call these Maybe you can sell your... Stuff. You can actually sell your product. I think I'm a little disappointed. No, 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 Richard. How about if you sold your product? Now I feel rejected. Richard, your product? Product? Yeah, I feel rejected. Richard, Richard we don't do any phone calls live on the radio. We can sell Because they need to be edited. Otherwise, you don't You do not do a phony phone call. But why not start something new today? Okay, look, we're back. Uh, Richard Simmons is here. It's been—I don't know how long it's been. Richard, you probably tell us. We've been counting the days. I feel it's yes. I feel it's been a very long time since I've seen Richard Simmons. And uh, there's a dramatic weight loss going on in his life. He weighs 135 pounds. I'm told that, in fact, he had. When he was on Dancing with the Stars training Chaz Bono, people were alarmed how thin he had gotten. Really? And he had to actually go on TV. And... Da, 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 da. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's no music he'll provide us What's up, my friend? Oh, my God. How are you doing? How are you doing? doing all right, man? Don't Hi. hug me. Come here. Richard, don't hug me. You're going to be like Letterman and say, don't hug me? Well, because he hugs hard and I don't right. like it. Now, he don't was very come gentle. In here. No, 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 no. no. Come sit down. You have come, to sit. Sit down. Come sit down. down. No one cares. We want to talk to you. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 Richard, no one can wait, hear that. No. <laughs> oh. Richard, Hello, come on. Richard. You're being silly. Sit down. Come on. I want to talk to you. He's no. coming. Uh, do we have to shake? Okay. Uh, I love you. I love you. Sit down. Wait, relax. Wait, let me just look Let's at you. do I an interview. In a couple years. Let me look at you. But let me do an interview oh. with you. Okay. Sit down. Everyone wants to hear from you. Where's my uh, pre-roll? Have a seat, Richard. All right. Let's talk to you. You have to. But I just want to talk to Howard for a second. Oh, yeah, but no, you don't, those have a microphone in them. <laughs> Richard, no one can hear you. Richard, if you... I love you, and I have missed you. I am so excited you got this new gig. Are you excited? I Did am. he hear about oh your hearing problem? God. You must have heard I have a hearing loss because you're yelling. Oh. I detected the other day I was on uh, uh, I was I was doing some work with a camera. Where is the microphone? It's in there. <laughs> oh, it's like a Madonna microphone. Yes. Yeah, put it on, please. Have you heard her new song masterpiece? No. I'm not a fan. All right. Hey, you look tremendous. Even for you, this is the thinnest I think I've seen you in your entire life since this I know. This was my you. weight of General Hospital 1979. Someone told me you now weigh 135 pounds. Yes. Is this the ideal weight for you? This is the perfect weight for my height and my bone frame. And how did you do it? In the sense that you know, normally they say as you get older, it is more difficult to lose yes. weight. But as you get older, you can put on a lot of weight yes. and be inactive. Right. And I'll be 64 years old this year. Fabulous. And I just always... How many times is that? Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you 64 <laughs> five years ago? No. no. He's 64. He doesn't lie. He doesn't lie about but his go age. Ahead. I know that. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> and what did you... Because I'll tell you how I've been feeling lately. I've put on like maybe five extra pounds. Now, I don't have a huge weight issue. Uh -huh. But I feel like I want to lose a couple. But I can't stand running anymore. I, I feel... I'm, I, I have this thought. That if I just cut my portions down yeah. and do a little weight training, I cut, maybe I'll be happy. Yeah, I, I cut 400 calories a day. Uh, yeah. And I went from 45 minutes of a workout to an hour and 20 minutes. And in the hour and 20 minutes, how much of that is just working out with weights? Uh, 30. 
and the rest is what? See, I've never had like a body like this. No, you look good. You don't have to take your clothes off. No, but I just want to show you. I never had definition like this. Wow, yeah. And it's very important for me to be a good example. Right. Because right now, you know, the major thing, and I was really in tears this morning because some new evidence came out about how many obese children in America. It's alarming. And in the next five years, one out of four children will be obese. I admire you. Because for as long as I've known you, and I've told you this before, but I'm going to say it again. I believe what you do is very good. I'm talking about good advice. But is he really successful? Because yes, everybody's he is. been getting bigger while Richard's been talking about this. Well, look, it's it's a one man battle. You know what? <laughs> Eating is emotional, Robin, and yes. you know this. And when you lose your job, when you lose your home, right? You go for food. The, the, the one dollar menus. Do you know what I'm saying? Why is your hand shaking? I'm just a nervous. Why are you nervous around me? What have I, I done? I don't know because I haven't been here in three years and, you know, I get a little nervous. I've I'm, never seen your hand shake Well, before. I'm a little nervous. Is it nerves or is there a Parkinson's or something? Oh, uh, my God. No. Nothing bad is going on, right? Well, you know what? We don't talk. Right. Uh, you made fun of me the last time. Right. Going to your house and all that. I did. And so... Oh, dear. It's very nervous for me to come here sometimes, okay. Howard. I, I have just to be sure honest with you. All right. Please relax. I want you. You're in my yeah, house. Yeah, don't point out anything. Yeah, the fans love you. Everyone loves you. you don't and I got to... so many wonderful emails from people who knew I was coming today, and they were said really nice things. People love you. Well, I just don't get nervous, Howard. Cause you're I, in a safe space. Because it's like, I, you know, uh, for some reason, I just f- don't think that we're friends anymore. And, and, and you know, I, well, you cut I'm me never, out. I've never met your, your, your new beautiful wife and i know you cut well, me you out you haven't been around how can i introduce you, you i mean I tra- me i've been traveling like you know 200 days a year are these real classes is this real emotion or are you because sometimes you know it's funny with you, you i never know the real you showbiz tears i've never had a moment alone with you where i feel you've been real with me what about at your house i feel what you always are t- on Honestly, I'm being serious now. It's hard to be friends with you because you're always on. You've never come to me and said, you know, I'm dropping the Richard Simmons persona. But this I is like... really, you know me, Howard. How many years have I done this show? But isn't Seriously. it impossible to keep this kind of energy old? I, I never bought it. I, I mean, I know that on camera you have to be high energy. You're, you're motivated. But, I, th- but this is me. You've known me for, for one third of my life. But I've when you would come to the show. house, you know, when you would throw cucumbers into the pool and then you'd squeeze everyone well, hard. I, you know, I, I, I just, was like, uh, where's the real Richard? Well, I, I always like to be humorous and I always like to make people laugh, whether but why? they're laughing. Why do you, I'm going to be serious important. with you. Why do you think you always, I'm being serious. Why do you always think you have to be the comedian? Why do you always have to be on? Does, can't it just because be a that's time how where you I've enjoy been, yourself? But that's how I've been since a kid. But I feel like you're not enjoying yourself. When you're private I, with I me. I love my life. I don't I, have to put it on. No, I love my life. But I, you I, feel the, the urge to always be the center of attention. And I know that urge. Well, Believe me, I'm an entertainer. I, 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 but I think it's because I was obese as a kid. Uh, I didn't feel accepted. And I thought I had to have a bigger than life persona. You were beaten with a bat when you were a kid, weren't really? you? Really? Yeah, I don't know if you know that. I Part of the Richard that. Simmons history was, who beat you with a bat when you were a kid, honestly? If we can get into it a little bit, if it's not too painful for you. Who beat you? Uh, uh, just a guy in school who a, made, fun a of me every, yeah, made fun of me every day and told me I was a piece of garbage and I was a fat pig. And, and, you, and know, you don't forget those things, Howard. And so, w- Do you how, remember his name? I'm Not that I want you to say it here, but do you remember his name? Sure. Did you ever confront him as an adult and say, why did you do that to me? No, I confronted him when I was a kid and took the baseball bat out of his hand. Did you hit him with it? No, 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 that's not me. Okay. And I told him that I didn't appreciate what he did. And I didn't appreciate him making fun of me. And I have to tell you, 30 years later, Howard, I was in New Orleans and I was at a department store shopping with my mother. Right. And this man came up to me. And he said, do you remember me? And it was this boy with the bat. Is that true? True. And he asked, he said, my wife is 250 pounds. And I'm wondering if you could call her for me. Now, what do you do? And I called her. You I, did? Yeah, and I sent her. Big of you. I sent her some videos. I, I'm forgiving. You Are know? you really forgiving? Or yes. is it, again, you're just trying to earn acceptance? Like, what, what, what would have been so bad to say to him? You asked me for a favor. You, you beat me with a bat. No, that's you not You motherfucker. That's not me. You know, what no, is wrong I, with getting angry about that? I, I, I just, I'm not an angry person. 
you know, I'm a forgiving person, you know? And, I you know, and part of me thought, like, you met, ran into him, and he walked up to you, and he says, my wife's 250 pounds, and he started hitting you with a bat again. I mean, that could have <laughs> gone horribly, too, you know? I mean, imagine that. <laughs> but, Richard, when this guy beats you with a bat, maybe this is good for people to know, you took the bat out of his hands. Don't normally, nine times out of ten, that ends badly, because then the guy says, now I'm going to beat the shit out of you even more. Well, like, I got his eye contact, and right. I told him that he hurt me. And, had, and he responded to that? And I had never, ever hurt him before. And I asked him to please leave me alone and just accept me like all the other kids in school. And that worked? It worked. It worked. I think honesty a lot works. I think, you know, in, in 2012, we have so many bullies out there. That speech worked at, how old were you, 14 at that time? Or what, how old were you? No, I was in seventh grade. Seventh, and that worked? That worked. I've, I have certainly been in my share of fights. People were very cruel. And what, what did you do? I got the shit beaten out of me. He okay, what did you do to them? Position. What did what I did do to them? them? I fought back. You did. I punched their fucking ass in. Well, you know, I'm not a fighter. I'm not either, but what was I going to do? It was a matter of survival. I'm talking about people trying to kill me. So I had a fight. Really? Yeah, you either fought or you died. Oh. I mean, it was it, sort of like a prison situation yeah. for him. I grew up oh. in a prison. No, I, I just always try to forgive everybody. I tried a speech. You know what they did to me? I gave the same speech you did. They lit me on fire. <laughs> they did not. They, I, said, I looked the guy in the eye. I said, why? I've never done anything to you. He said, here, come here. I thought he was going to apologize. He took a match and threw me on me and let me on fire. That's why my face is like this. I'm a burn victim. <laughs> Howard. Did you get more hair transplants? No. How many of you had? Uh, 1,900. No, seriously, how many of you had? 1900. I know you're open about this stuff. That's why I asked 1900. you. 1,900. You've always been honest about it. Well, you know, I lost 137 pounds and you went when and got... I starved. Why is hair and important? I lost... You don't care about that. Are you very vain, you think? Well, I mean, I, I like to sort of look nice. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm teaching. I go out all over the country. Uh, last year, I taught in New Zealand and Paris. Is it and... painful, the, the operation? Well, I haven't had it done in years and right. years and years. Right. But it, it is painful. You look good. Thank you. Like, I feel I, good. I would think that this is a major accomplishment with you. Well, you know what? I, I want to be a good example for people, and I want people to go from decade to decade taking better care of themselves. Our children are obese. We have obese teens. We have obese young adults, seniors, <clears throat> and we have to do something about it. Do you agree with me that companies like soda companies and stuff should be the same way drugs are against the law? Shouldn't soda and all that stuff be against the law? I well, mean, you know, I mean freedom. these guys walk around like they're, they're American companies. They're helping America. It's only it's sugar water. Am okay. I right? Yes. But, you know, everything in moderation. Once in a while, when I want a couple cup sips of Coca-Cola, I have it. And, and, but I don't overdo it where I you see. drink five or six a day. I think we have to, it's up to the parents to educate their children. Well, how can uh, they? They're drinking the soda, too. Well, you know. I, Everyone's I, uneducated when it comes to right. this. This is why I like Richard. Let me say something seriously here. Richard. Always had a technique. I know you're against these shows like Biggest Loser and all these kinds is? of things. Yes, I didn't know that. Because he feels that you're, you're inspiring people by offering them money to lose weight. I, I don't think competition is the way to lose uh -huh. weight, Robin. You I also think, don't believe in rapid weight loss. Well, I think, uh, you know, and I've done this, you know, many times. You dropped a lot and then You drop it yo -yo. and then you gain it right back, you know? Are you a disciple of Jack LaLanne, the great... Uh, he was one of the first guys to come... I feel you're more in league with Jack LaLanne, that you, you talk about a lifestyle, you try to educate people. I've talked to professionals that I respect in this field of yours, and they all say to me, Richard Simmons is the best guy, the top guy, because he's not a bullshit artist. They do say that about you. I'm very honored that next month I receive the Jack LaLanne Award from his oh. wife. Right, the LaLanne wow. LaLanne. And... and that really means a lot to me because he was an inspiration to me. Right. Did you and, know the guy personally? Yes, and I spoke at his at his memorial service. What did you say? I just told the story about how we came on the Richard Simmons show and and how we bonded and how we. Did you friends. watch him on TV as a little boy? No, I didn't like him. You didn't what? like Jack Lilly? No. Not Why? At all. Because he was fit. He was smart. Oh, and at that time you weren't. He was energetic. Ah. How did you know to get into this business? Seriously. Well, I did it for myself first. Yeah. And then I said, well, if I can learn the portions of food and I can learn to exercise, I can teach others to do it. What did you want to be when you were a little kid growing up? Did you want to be on TV and be an actor or something? No. What did you want to be? A priest. Is that true? That's true. Why didn't you go into the priesthood? <sighs> You were horny. No, I, 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 it just wasn't for me. I Could was you have ready. given up sex for, for your entire life? I mean, that would be a major, like, 
no way I could go into the priesthood. Well, I wanted to help people. Right. And you know, when you're a kid and you go to Catholic school, right. the people that you admire are the policemen, the firemen, the priest. And I decided that I, maybe I could help people. Did you tell the priest you wanted to become a priest? Yeah. And was everyone sort of grooming you for that? No. What? Why did they not think you were <laughs> because I was material? crazy and funny and <laughs> should not, priests guess, be allowed to marry? I think uh, that's a really tough question, Howard. Why? Why you're afraid of controversy? You don't want to offend? No, anyone. no, no. I ju- I just think I don't I don't know. Other religions, their priest mm-hmm. and bishops can marry. Mm-hmm. Right. Will it happen in twenty five years or thirty years? Right now, a lot of people aren't even going to church. Right. You know, when we have to get people back to believe in something, because we all have beliefs, and that's what makes us good. But can I say one thing quick? Cause, uh, Do you ever come out with any kind of political statement? Do you no. ever feel strongly about any candidate? No. Do you privately feel strongly about candidates? Do you have a political point of view? Yes. Have you ever contributed to a political party? No. Because what? You, you're like the president. You want to be for, You want to keep up the aura that you are for everyone. and that. Uh, well, I just pray we make the right decision, put the right person in, or, or keep President Obama, and, and maybe get this world to be a better place. Did you like Bush? Um, um, parts, no. parts of him. No, you didn't like him, I did. did you? I liked his ears. No, are you <laughs> afraid to say you don't like somebody? Uh, no, no, but I, I, I like to pretty much be... You know, even level and let other. Were you against the war in Iraq? Oh God! How were you I'm against the, wrong the war? Person. Were you Talk against the war? Talk to me about fitness. No, Talk to me I want to know calories. you. I want to know Richard Simmons, the man. Are were you against the war in Iraq? Parts of me were, parts of me weren't. <laughs> you can't say that. Well, you know, no, because uh, you know we have to protect our country. It's very important that we protect the United States of do America. Do you feel we were in danger in Iraq? Do you really think oh, so? Oh, yes. You do? Oh, yes. You feel were, were they weapons? going to attack us? Um, Howard, I don't think Where do you political. stand on abortion? Uh, oh, my. <laughs> Howard, this is, I'm the wrong person. Because you were training to be a priest. Guys, help me. No, Richard. Guys, help me Richard, out these here. Are Would you please help me out? <laughs> are you wearing panties? What are those? Oh. What do you wear for underwear? I, I don't wear those. Oh, these are I wear These are jockeys. You wear jockeys? Yeah. Yes, Man, you got a nice ass. But let me say this <laughs> quick. Look, right. I know you're in a lot of questions, but let me say this. For six years, I've is been trying a, to get PE back in the school system. But is this about abortion? or Because I'm asking you a direct question. Are you for or against abortion? Robin. Yes? Did you help him write these questions? No. <laughs> Where do you stand on gay marriage? Oh, you're against I just, it. I can't believe you are against I am. I am for any people... Who fall in love with each of other? Of course, and 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 you know, be happy. It's all about you know. We're not on this earth. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's the wedding. March. That's wedding. You're oh, talking you know, about. We're not shit. on this earth to just work right. and just to pay our bills. Love is the. We're key. on this earth to find someone, and if you feel that strongly about somebody, and you love them, I don't think anyone should get in your way. Have you ever been in love? Seriously, have you ever been in love? Maybe he's in love right now. I'm in love with what I do, and that is stop. All. No, my no that's not the real guy. You've asked me this question thousands but of I'm times. But I'm being serious. Why? I used to do wait it comically. Minute, wait a minute. I'm being serious. Mother, daughter, mother, daughter. <laughs> Why are you so uncomfortable with the reality of life? I don't like reality. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I live in my own little world do you? of exercise, motivation, calling people. I feel like you've retreated people. somewhat, not just from my show, but I feel like you've kind of like retreated a little bit. You've like not slowed down. That's the wrong word. But I feel like you've become a little more cautious. Well, no, I, I that he's lowered his profile. Yeah, no, I, I, I do exactly what I want to do. I get to travel. I get to pick out where I want to go and teach. I get to meet wonderful people. I help people with their weight. I sometimes help people get into a rehab center or a hospital. That's my passion. I know That's that all about I you. live for. What you did for Gary's brother when he was dying was one of the most selfless things. You were actively involved. You were there for him, and I thank you for that. I thought that was one of the most loving things, and you are a loving man. I just wonder if you've ever had love in your life, and I don't mean that in any comical sense. Yeah, a, a lot Do of, you know love? A lot of people love me, Howard. No, I, I that's not the same, Richard. 
I don't know why you're picking on me today. Is that picking? Yeah, a little bit. You okay. won't even let me talk about the PE. Right. I talk can't about talk P-talk. about anything. It's I wanted just, to know where you stand no, I, on abortion. I, no, I, I feel... I, I, it's, you're an important guy. People look up to you. They don't want that information from me. They, they want do. it from you. They want it from Rob. No, they, they want don't. it from some Not of your other Robin. guests. <laughs> <laughs> Is it wrong to... Am I really picking on you? Because I don't sense I am. Well, it's like an interview, but you won't let me talk or, or, or say because anything. Because you're avoiding questions. Well, I'm not avoiding it. It's just, this is who Have I am. Have you ever been in love? Oh. Are you? Here's the following questions. Answer them right off the top of your head. Don't even give it any thought. Robin, please help He's me with this. He's trying to get to know uh, but you. I, I want to know Haven't you. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Suddenly I'm bright let's and start breezy. Out. Richard, let's start out easy. Should Puerto Rico be a state? <laughs> Do you think Gary? Fred, do you think Fred is stupid? Gary, <laughs> Gary, get back over here. Come here, come here. What about marijuana? Should it be legal? First, let me say this. Go ahead. Okay. Why for, is that offensive? I don't for six understand. Years, I never understand why you're angry with me. I'm I not swear, angry. I, don't. I love you, Howard. I love you. There's very few people that I'm in love with, and Thank you're you. one of them. Is that true? And I've known you for one third of my life, and you've always allowed me to come on. Yes. And talk about things that were very important to me. I adore you. And now I feel like I'm like it's the crucible. You know, no, and, you and don't. it's just That's I, I not know true. it's true and I, j- I wanted to come and, and and tell you about my PE fit kids. Are you bill. checking your notes? <laughs> no, I just you. have a real You're in the middle of crying and you're checking your notes. No, but I, I just See what I mean? imp- but this is important to me. You have some causes in your life that are important. Not really. What is this music? It's because you're pouring your heart out. <laughs> All right. You really won't answer my questions? You won't even ask, answer if you're for or against abortion? And I want to find out when you went into... What, what, did, when you told your mother you wanted to go into the priesthood, did she say, Richard, that's not for you. You have so much personality. You have so much to give. I feel that's not the right decision. She said anything I wanted to do to help people because that's all I care about. And you know that to so be then true. So why did you leave the, the idea of going to the priesthood? When did that happen? Because I thought maybe I could do some other things to help people. And what was that? You must have been lost as a young man. You had trouble with your weight. You had all kinds of problems. Did you? Did you? Did, I think I have to take a break. You want to take a break? What? what, what what's going this on? This is like a courtroom. No, it's just that. What? What happened? You won't let me talk about the things that are important. All right, to go me. ahead. Go ahead, talk. I wanted to know about what, your life as a young man. Can I have a Kleenex, please? Okay, right here. Thank you. Here, honey. Are you good friends with Chaz? Because you were on Dancing with the Stars. That's where I live. He's very. Sorry. He's very nice. He's going. He was on here. You know. He was, we had a wonderful conversation. He very thought nice it was meeting. fun. I love him. I think I was a little too loud for him. You came on strong. Yeah. You came on strong. That's your style. That's fine for showbiz. I'm trying to get to know the real Richard Simmons. Can I talk about my PE bill for skill- okay. schools? Would you answer one question? Are you lonely? No. When you go home at night, are you just like, ugh? I'm exhausted. Because you are. I call 30, 40 people a day. I travel and teach. I just came back from a bunch of cities teaching. I guess what I was asking, is anyone there for you? My wonderful housekeeper, Teresa, who's been with me 24 years. Yeah, but that's someone you pay. Is there anyone there no, who cares about you? Uh, no, she cares about me. Really? <laughs> she loves me very much. Well, if you, as long as you pay her. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm saying, now true stop Howard. that. She Howard, does. stop. No, I'm saying, is there someone she's who you the don't... She's the greatest lady, and I love her very much, and she's been with me all these years. This is Teresa, your <laughs> housekeeper? All right. Okay. <laughs> I feel I've offended you, and I don't mean to. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to interview you. Well, I'm, you I want to know everything you're up to. Well, I... Tell me about the, the, the organization you're involved with, please. All right. Oh, dear. What the fuck Why is going on? Why does this on? always go Richard, this way? Richard, what happened? What did I do? I upset you every time. And, I, and, and you know it's what okay. I said to Gary? I said, when Richard comes in, he's going to be shocked. I'm going to give him a serious interview. I really want to find out about how he's been in his life. You want to sit on my lap? Uh, Come over here. No, 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 don't forget. That's a bad idea. Richard, I just worry about you. I've never gotten to know the real you, and I was attempting to get to know the real you. If I've offended you in any way, I apologize. But tell me about what you're up to, please. Please. Everybody pay attention, please. For six years, I've been trying to get PE back in the school system. Right. Which, by the way, I always thought there was physical education in the school. No, that's one of the first things, along with yeah. music programs, that to goes. go. It is very important. These kids sit in a classroom all day, and they really don't have any physical fitness. First of all, a lot of schools don't even have recess, Howard. That's been taken away. And by the way, I hated phys ed 
because the teachers were so mean, and they really weren't educators. They were just like, hey, do push-ups, do sit-ups. They were, they were really, they were, they were now. fucking dicks, if I may call, call that them that. That was where a lot of bullying happened. Yeah. I, you know, my physical education teacher in second grade made us stand at attention because some kid was bad, and two of the kids passed out, like, right, like, you know, I mean, stand stiff, and if you, if you move the muscle. So, it, it, what happened now? Why are you upset? About what? What happened? Nothing. Anyway, I went to I went Richard. to Congress and I had a congressional hearing, and I told them why PE was very important. And it's been six years now, and really nothing has been done. That's they, right. They've taken my Fit Kids bill and they put it in the new education bill that the president has not okayed yet. Why do you think that is? Because his plate's very full right now. Right. And there's so many other things, unemployment and. And the whole crisis in America and people not working and people being very depressed and then getting sick over it. You know, some people lose their job and they get sick. Mm -hmm. Right. Physically sick. Absolutely. Stress is a big factor in illness. So I was just going to ask all of your millions of listeners go ahead. to go to richardsimmons.com and there's a little square there and you can just send a little email to your congressman saying how important it is for our children to work out and to have P in the school system. P? P. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's 40% of schools have nothing. Some schools just have 15 minutes, three days a week. Yeah, it's too little. And you know they're not getting it at home because both their parents work. So, so I'm why just asking. The, why, why is phys ed, why are the teachers so poorly trained? Like I know when you go, if you're an overweight person and I go to your um, workout studio, yeah. you're really good at motivating people and understanding, like you got to bring along somebody slowly. Why are these phys ed teachers, and I'm not saying all, there's so many no, good ones. No, I, I think you're sort of cubby-holding them. There's a lot. NASPY, all these organizations for people who teach physical activity, they, they, they want to now bring in toning. Cardio, yeah. stretching, the things you that we feel all that need. They're, they're, right. they're, they're higher, their level of education is higher now, and they're a little more enlightened. Yes. Okay. And they're and they're very trained to go in and teach. I love to teach at schools. Last year, I taught at twenty five schools, elementary, high school, and college. I just taught at Ohio State University and Pepperdine, and this year I'll do fifteen more colleges. The amount you work. And this is a little bit change of a topic, but nevertheless, I read that your net worth was $15 million, and that seemed low to me because you've been working very hard. You've been very famous. You've had many successful ventures. Deal a meal, I'm thinking about. You do a lot of uh, – this, this stuff is sold on QVC, all this. Is it true you're worth $15 million? That's something you're comfortable talking about? I never talk about money because it's really not that important to me. But is that your net worth? Is that somewhere in that ballpark or are we low? Honestly. Robin, help me. You don't have to answer See, I any would never, questions I would never ask you that, that. you don't Why? want to. Because I, I don't know I, if that offends you. I have I'm to ask you. I'm not interested in how much money you make. I'm only interested in you as the loving, yeah, but I'm interested. kind human People being are interested. that I care for. I feel like you have an empire that like $15 million is a small chunk of it. Cayman Islands, hey. it's all there. It's all, okay, good, okay. That's what I thought. So let's go back. Right, right, right next to Romney, right there, the next post office Let's box. go back to Puerto Rico. Should it be a state? Anyway, yeah. I'd like to give a plug all right, go for ahead. a fabulous new re a restaurant here in New York. Go ahead. I love a and good I restaurant. And I am so excited to talk about this. And if it was opened earlier, I would have come here. Why do you like it? Because it's low fat, uh, kind of a healthy restaurant? The name of the restaurant is Parm. P-A-R-M. Okay. It's in, it's in Soho, that area. Uh -huh. And you have never had a turkey sandwich. You still eat turkey? In your life, like Parm. Do you still eat red meat? Uh, once a month, I have a steak. Do you and turkey and chicken? You're okay with yes, turkey, chicken, fish, lots of vegetables, lots of fruit. What do you think of Robin being a vegan now? Do you think it's that a that's difficult a life? I was a vegetarian. Uh -huh. It's a hard life. I agree. I'm right down now, to just eating fish, and I find it. But difficult, right now but in 2012, it. there's a lot more recipes, right. a lot more restaurants, a lot more choices. Do you eat beans and stuff like sure, that? Sure, beans okay. and rice, all kinds of grains. She loves okay. it. Sure. Yeah, but this restaurant, Parm. You're not going to believe it, Howard. Right. And the, you have no interest in this financially no, or anything? No, no. Someone told me about it, and the last time I was in New York, just for a couple hours, I went over there and had a turkey sandwich. I've never in my life... Why is it so good? Well, they do something with the turkey. I think they... I don't know if they marinate it or steam it or whatever. 
Howard, do you eat turkey? Yeah. Oh, I use. I stopped recently. Oh. So, but you, mar- do you when they marinate it, that's extra calories, or you don't care? You're not counting no, calories. No, no. I, I eat. 1,500 calories a day. Is that true? 30 grams of fat. And when you get it ni- at night, don't you get a tremendous hunger at night and you want to like, eat a lot of nuts or something I'm like this? I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. When I finish talking to 20 or 30 people, many of them housebound and many of them have given up. Okay. It is very hard to get food down my throat. I'm going to uh-huh. be very honest with you. So it motivates you not to eat. No, it, it, uh, I'm, I get very sad for what's happening in America today. So you so don't many... get hungry at night when you're watching TV? Or so. 1,500 calories is a light. That's light. What do you eat for breakfast? Uh, egg beater, omelet, uh, half of a bagel, fresh fruit and yogurt. How many calories is that? Would you ballpark that? I, I do like 4... Hundred calories for breakfast, and then you work out for an hour and a half. Yes, sir, and that doesn't no count. shit. And then you, and then when you eat lunch, like yesterday, I was in Orlando, Florida, and I did a convention for sixteen hundred people who work for Murphy Oil. These are managers and district managers of gas stations all over the country. You, you work out every day. Yes, sir. And you're telling me you eat fifteen hundred calories. Yes, sir. And the workout's an hour and a half, and you're not ready, dizzy, and passing out. No. Wow, I'm shocked. Well, you know what? I, I would like to live to be 100. You know, you're That's in, your goal? You're in love with a beautiful lady. You have beautiful children. That's right. And I know you want to be on this earth a long time to sure. be with them. And if your weight stays good... I, well, I'm, I look good. And you're healthy... Right. Then you will live a longer life. And well, that's what I want for you. Thank you. Well, you know what I want for and you? And for Robin. And for everybody. Can I say what I want for you? I want love for you. I want love in your life. I don't know if you have that. And I'm not talking about Teresa the housekeeper or the Dalmatians. Suddenly the music began. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> it was a tinkling on the piano. Something like... You're going to let me get to know the real you someday and interview you and find I, I, out I some would real lo- things? I would love to take you... You're avoiding me. I would love to take you and your wife and Robin out for dinner. I'm not available. Ever? Ever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm Why? not available. W- ever? That's right. Why? Because, first of all, when I'm in the city, I work, and it's, I don't go out there. I, I stay home and work. Would you invite me to your home? Out on Long Island? Yeah. Absolutely not. Not the way you behaved the last time. If you can promise me you'll behave and act normal and not, and not go around throwing shit into the pool, I just, maybe we I can just do that. I mean, but you totally, few... you totally freak me out. Why can't you forget this? Why can't we go beyond because I didn't, this? Because I, I want to meet the real guy. I'm interested in the real guy. If you ever want to really have a friend, a real friend, not put on the bullshit and carrying on like Richard Simmons, throwing cucumbers and lifting people up and throwing them over your head. Can I give you a little hug? Can I no, come over there? Absolutely not. <laughs> so everything's a no. No, because you, you, you... I came here with an open heart. <laughs> of course you can hug me. We'll hug you after... Not now. I don't want to hug you. I got to get this. Oh, man. Okay, come over here. And don't hurt me when you hug me. Seriously, don't hurt me. You, you hug too hard. Uh, hug me like... Come on. Come on over. I love you. You're a great guy. I love you. Beautiful. Can love we, you. Can we do it one more time? What? <laughs> can we do it one more time? Oh, another one? Uh, don't... Uh, this is it. Uh, don't kiss. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so, so wonderful and beautiful, really. It's great to have you here. So, <laughs> about going to your house for dinner... I would have you over if you, you can. Act, you want to be real? You want to come over? Yeah, I would. Okay, I would I'd invite you. I will invite you. Okay. All right. And then I get to meet your wife. Yeah, I would love for you to meet her. And and she won't know what to make of you. I mean, <laughs> have she you has talked not... to her about me. No, not really, because you're not in my life anymore. You you totally rejected me. I, I mean, you didn't say anything about no. coming on the show today. No, not a bit. Because because you didn't I... say, honey, I, I'm having a, a, no a, someone that I really care about on the no. show. No. I didn't say that. How are your daughters? My daughters are great. Everyone's fine. Do yeah. they ask about me? They never ask about you. <laughs> oh. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> You've been so forgotten, like Richard. Surfing. And you're not going to tell me about your life or anyone who's in it. I mean, you, you called back for me. I know it. You never talk to me. You never give me the real you. How old are you now? How old do you think I am? My skin Goodness, is fabulous. I've been doing this 20... Robin, how, Robin when you were at the other studio uh-huh. and you had me in... How many years ago was that? That was a long time ago. That's about 20 years ago. You have a good What is this new voice of yours? And he can't hear me. I'm going to talk to you the way you talk to me. (laughs) Richard, (laughs) Richard, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. (laughs) You want me to be real or you want me to be this? I want you. Come on, what do you want? I like... Yo, 
you'll be swell. Go ahead, you'll go back be to great. Couch. Go back to your couch. Okay. All right, Richard, I first of all want to say, let me give you a plug here because I know that's why you're here. No, no, I just want to. For more information wanna... on Richard Simmons Fit Kids Bill, go to richardsimmons.com. That's first of all. Go and get in touch with Richard. Uh, Richard isn't comfortable talking about his views on abortion. On, Robin, on gay marriage. Richard Robin, is apolitical. Are these phone calls? No. Oh, yes, You want to take are. some phone calls? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the, I love. What are the chances are he's going to start crying if we take phone calls? I don't want you crying if you're going to take phone calls. You know. You know, I haven't really yeah. been here this close and <laughs> look at me. It's uncomfortable. And stared at you. <laughs> Thank you. And you I'm have, a married man. I'm going to tell you something. But you have been such, even though you don't want to admit this. You, you have been a good friend. Of and course, you've I always supported me. I love you, and you've always been kind to me. Thank you, thank you. And can I say something? Most of the time. Most of the time. Listen, yeah. I'm also doing. Most a com- of the time. I'm doing a comedy show. Sometimes things can, you know, get funny, but you get insulted, and I don't mean. Well, to you know, I'm, you're sensitive too, Howard. Yes, we're both sensitive men. But you know, I, if I could ever <laughs> just really, a minute, just a one second, if I could ever, <laughs> you take that one hair. I'm getting uncomfortable. Wait, okay. No. If you now you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> If you ever want to have a conversation with me where yeah. we sit down and talk, talk about life, find out about yeah. what's going on in your All life, right. your friends, your All family, right. uh, have you found love? I don't care who with. You understand? But but it, when if I if I go through all this with you at your home, yes. sitting there with your beautiful wife, right? Sure. Who does a lot of charity work? Yes. She and you does. know what? I She's would help like her you. if she wants me to teach a class for something. No, I would she, do it. She doesn't want you to help. But go ahead. Oh, I'm geez. just kidding. I'm kidding. You know. That. Of course. <laughs> I mean, if I could help. do something to help and, and sure. raise money and teach an exercise class, I would. I do love it. you. That would be wonderful. I told you, you have a great heart. What you do for people, I feel, is sincere. And I and I think that what you impart to people, the knowledge you give them, what? No, I don't want to hug again. <laughs> I don't want to hug Aww. you again. We hugged enough. Stop Just it. It's getting embarrassing. Tell him you'll hug him on the way out. Sometimes I get hard when I hug you. I, I, don't, I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> don't do that. You know how I feel about you. I think we make a good couple. I think Richard just knocked me up on that last uh, hug. I feel I, I feel life You're inside of me. Feeling a little sick. You're I getting do. morning sickness. Great. But, uh, here, here's a mic. I love seeing you. It was wonderful seeing you. I love you. I will give Gary my phone number. Please do. And anytime I can come to your home and I'll behave Thank you. and I'll dress accordingly. Right. And if you want, I could just take over your whole kitchen and cook. No. Oh my God, I can make chicken piccata. I'll bring my friends to look at you, too. I really want to do that. Your friends? Yes. I need my friends to look at you to show them that there's a celebrity in my house. <laughs> of course. I would love to have you come there and have and sit down and rekindle our friendship. I would love it. I would love it. Okay? Thank you, Howard. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. And and uh, and, I, and God bless you. I think the work you do is fantastic. Thank you, Howard. All right. Okay. Do you want to take a, a phone call? You would love to? You love me? You're in love with me? I'm spoken for. <laughs> All right, next time we'll take phone calls. I think you had and enough. And now some commercials from the Howard Stern Show. We'll be. Serious. We're going to be. Uh, What's that? What? We'll be back. What is that, Gary? He's going to write down his numbers. Oh, oh. Look at <laughs> Gary. God <laughs> bless. You look at him. <laughs> Gary lost him. a lot of weight. Lost a lot of I weight. I love Gary. He looks good. His children are beautiful. His yeah. wife is beautiful. Right. He's a good boy. You were there at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, you were, and then you dumped him. Richard dumped he us dumped all. He dumped us all. He dumped us all. Well, all right. All right. Listen, but Richard that's okay. Simmons. Good Lord. I'm drained from the interview. You avoided a lot of questions, but I'm going to break you down. You'll see. All right. We'll be back right after these words. Richard, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. What? Is that, is that no, I mean, I, I, I worked hard at this. You look, you look fantastic. Now, you see, I, running and stuff is... Just beating the shit out of everyone. I walk around like well, an old man. Why, why don't you yeah, do the elliptical? Yeah, okay. You're only I doing it to burn calories. I, I love to go outdoors. A recuperant bike? What if I walk an hour a day? It depends on your stride, right. and it depends on what you do with your arms. If you're walking, you should get a pedometer. Yeah. This is amazing, because 10,000 steps a day keeps you healthy, okay? Wow. So if you'd put your pedometer on here, in the middle of where your thigh is, and you're using your hands and you're taking a stride. Right. Like you're not, you're not. That way, right. not like browsing. That way you burn calories. Hi, baby. Hello, darling. Wow. How are you? Maybe I should do that. I can handle that. I don't have enough time. I don't have two it's hours. It's so good today. to see you. We've got to do the arty thing where you put the pedals under your uh, chair. 
Right. And you have to come <laughs> back more often. Yes. Aww. Why is Richard? I don't know. Ten seconds. Yes, he always does. He always remembers you to me. Who? Who remembers Richard? <laughs> Who remembers Richard? Like Richard, nobody could. Richard, I'm glad you came in. Thank Richard. you. It's, I missed you. Richard, I missed you. I miss you too, honey, and I'll be back. Okay. Love it. Very emotional. <laughs> I I, uh, I tell you, a very emotional visit from Richard Simmons. Yes, it's lovely been man. A, uh, there he goes. Tough day. I love his pantsuit. I love it. It's fabulous. I could see you wearing that. I could. I might wear that on America's Got I Talent. I would say you would be very fashionable. I have to go on QVC and buy that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Richard. All right, there he goes, Richard. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Richard. What? Do you feel that your relationship with Howard... Has been... <laughs> oh, Richard. Richard. Hi, Greg. Hi, Richard. Do you feel that your relationship is back with Howard? Do you feel you guys have made the, um, the connection again? I felt so good talking to Howard and Robin and everybody. It really was... It was really um, very good for me um, to come back and... Uh, and to be part of the show. I've, I've been doing this show for one third of my life. And just to come here and, and see him and Robin, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited that I was welcomed back. What's the, what does this show represent to you in your life? I mean, so many great memories. And... Well, Howard and I have had a lot of laughs and we've done a lot of fun things and certainly he makes fun of me, but um, that's okay, I can take it. Um, he's just an endearing friend, I, I don't really get close to people. I, uh, my work is my most important thing and I don't have a lot of friends or outlets and when I come here I, I feel like like I have friends in there. If you had to pick a favorite, would it be Howard, Robin, or Gary? What kind of a person are you? Why do you do that? Oh, Sophie's choice! Daughter, son! Daughter, son! Well, there you go, Richard Simmons. Uh... Hadn't seen him in a while. Very emotional visit. I, he cried six or seven times. Uh, that's probably par for a visit with us. But it's funny with Richard because uh, J.D. gave me a tape of him on other talk shows, and he always breaks into tears. Really? Yeah, it's a thing that, I. that's again, I don't know. What the real right. deal is. Right. I don't know what the real deal is with him. And what was that whole emotional thing going on with you after after we did the interview? He hugged me, then he hugged you, and he started whispering to you about something? Yeah, we have a, a, <clears throat> a mutual acquaintance. Yeah. And he was just telling me how much that person loves me, and that he always says to him to say hello to me. And I was telling him that the guy always delivers the message. Uh, I'm confused. It doesn't sound like that much, but he was very emotional about it. Oh, he he was like, Robin. <laughs> and he went, me, 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 me. and I go, what? What are you whispering about? <laughs> <laughs> you think Richard's too thin? No. He looks I think good. he looks fine. Yeah. It's weird with him. I'll never get to know the real him. I don't think it's possible. I don't think. What is that? He's safe behind that persona? Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating guy. Mm -hmm. And he actually does really good work. He he's he's very sincere about his work. Right. He really is. I mean, he he gives good advice. Everyone I know in that field goes, Richard Simmons actually has solid advice mm -hmm. for people. It's very practical. It's not pie in the sky, I'll get weight off you in two months, you'll be a whole new person. You know, he's very, very practical about it. And ultimately, I think he's pretty successful. I mean, not with everyone, but on a mass level, he does pretty much. I think he gets people to lose weight and get healthy. I was you simply know. commenting on the numbers constantly going up. Yeah. And we never did talk to him about Paula Dean. I wanted to talk to him. About What's to talk about? Paula Dean is one of these people who promotes, you know, fatty cooking and fat, fast, you know, all this. Food. And Richard's been on the show. Yeah. Well, Richard doesn't make any judgments. But he, it's so unhealthy what she's promoting. Yeah. Oh, Richard's been on the show? Yeah. Well, he probably said to her, well, what do you, this stuff in moderation, Paula. 
Any of that stuff shouldn't be eaten at all. Yeah. Honestly, deep I, fried lasagna. Nobody should have a bite of that. I I, I didn't ask him about it because I didn't really think of it. And the Wasn't woman now it. has diabetes, and she kept it secret for three years yep. until she got an endorsement deal for a drug. Hey, Mark. Mark in Boston. Hi. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, my favorite part of that interview is when you're, told, you know, at night when, you, when you're when laying in bed and you got hungry, don't you like nuts? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oh, you did? Uh, do you, you ever eat sure. some nuts? <laughs> oh, you did shit like that like three or four times throughout the interview, and I know you didn't do it on purpose, but it was a riot. Well, with him, it's funny because, like, I was actually interested in the fact that he wanted to be a priest, and I really wanted to know what went wrong there. Yeah, that like, was the other thing. I'm like, what, the priest... You said the priest didn't want you? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. With Richard, it's tough, you know. Oh I God. really I really tried to, to I was get just, through. Yeah, like to crack that yeah. shell. But you can't with him. No, it was like if you put Benji, JD, and Sour Shoes minds all together. That right. was like that interview. I couldn't understand what the fuck I was supposed to get out of that other than he's more bizarre than I even thought he was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you got anything out of it, quite frankly. Oh my god! I mean, it was fascinating, but I just wound up. It was just like a vortex, just like Benji. I'm yeah, just, you know. Yeah, and and then he starts crying, and you don't want to. You know, you, you just you, you don't see... want to keep that going. No, because he'll leave. Oh my god! So what did you do? Keep Sal on a leash? Sal must have been begging to come in. Well, no, no, Sal wasn't begging to come in, but he was on the phone. I, I was going to go to phone calls because I saw Sal had some tape of who he. Sal, what what were those tapes you had? You know when Sal is on the phone but with tapes? Yes. And it's, um, oh, it's Mark the Bagger. Can you call in so I could have heard what that would be like? Call in is Mark the Bagger, Sal. Yeah, I saw a thing up there. It said Sal's on the phone with his Mark the Bagger tapes. <laughs> and I went, oh, uh -oh. I'm, I'm gonna, well, I was going to get to it. But then, like, he kind of left and he was hugging me and, uh, you know what I mean? It was like the, the interview was over. Yeah, it's tough with him, you yeah. know. Yeah. Let's right, see well. what Mark DeBagger would have asked. Uh, okay. Hey, thanks, hey, Mark. Yeah. Later. Hey, hey uh, Howard. Yeah. The, the boys can't call in a second because they're, they're in the middle of a call. Oh, okay. Oh, they got Tradio on the line. Yeah. They do. Tradio goes on at 9 o'clock sharp. <laughs> and then, like, Ham Hands Bill was on. Mm. No, I know that's going to go back. Hey, Ham Hands, what were you going to ask Richard? Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I, I was going to ask Richard a question, but uh, I wanted to ask you, a month ago, about a month ago, Howard TV recorded the Wack Pack uh, Superfan Roundtable. Do you know if that's going to that's gonna air? That's what you're going to ask Richard? Well, no, I was going to ask Richard if, uh, if he still reciprocates after the guys lick his asshole. You see what I mean? It, 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 that would have just that gone, gone badly. That would have gone badly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam Hands. And as far as the super fan thing, when is that airing, Doug Goodstein? Ham Hands wants to know. We are looking into it for behind the scenes show. I'm not okay. sure yet. Behind the scenes show, so he doesn't have an exact date yet, Ham Hands. All right, thanks, guys. And, uh, uh, happy uh, birthday. Happy New Year, guys. All right, later. Same to you. Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah, here's, here's Mark the Bagger for Richard. Uh, hi, Mark. Hello. Hi. Love uh, the show. Thank you. And what do you want to say to Richard Simmons? I need your advice. Okay. How far up my ass can I stick a wiffle ball bat? <laughs> <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait. Howard! I just have one question. All right, ask a serious question because Richard's getting upset. I'm getting upset. I don't get a Michelob bottle out of my ass. <laughs> I need your advice. What is that? I don't stuff my cat's asshole back in. <laughs> what? Is it wrong to jerk off to my dad? <laughs> <laughs> why do you do this to me? Why, why, why? I just have one question. What, what, please, a serious question for Richard. How do I get a monkey to stop biting me? Why, fuck it. <laughs> How do you... <laughs> can we, Howard, Howard, can't we talk about phys ed? Out of my ass. What? You won't believe this, but I just farted, and a black cock fell out of my ass. <laughs> well, I want to talk about P.E., Robin. Salami, my brother. Robin, Robin. <laughs> Get the cum out of yours, and that's what I'm trying to say to you. Gary, Gary. What happened? Did that gerbil crawl out of your ass and chew right. out your eardrums? Thank you, Mark. There, that, that would have been Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 